Ladies and gentlemen, Hex community of all ages, hey, Jake Freedom here coming to you live from YouTube for this week's Hex update Saturday on a Sunday again. Now, it's not that I forgot that the 4th of July fell on a Saturday, it's just I kind of let it sit in the back of my mind and didn't really think about it until, like, oh, right, Hex update Saturday on the 4th of July, you're busy with family. So, that's why, again, we're doing it on Sunday, which really isn't a big deal, we didn't have, like, late breaking news that you know we need to get out there right away so the only thing that's really happened in the past week is we had some server maintenance which really isn't that fun to talk about and we have the hex update uh, army's release celebration which i was hoping they were going to do this because i like doing those release celebrations it was really cool last time when shattered destiny came out so i'm really glad that they're doing this again and we're going to get some pretty cool aa cards out of the deal so it says with armies of myth launching on the 14th that means release celebration is coming and we're making it even better let's start with the same they are two different alternate prize cards the set promo cards are bright moon brave and duplicious duke so they're kind of neat there i do like them um the brave is they go on to t tell you here how the cards actually work and we don't need to know how they work because we know how they work so and then they got in here they have pre-game we're also spending the week before the big set release uh, release celebrating the coming armies of myth that's right this party starts early with arena dropping 50% more gold plus you'll find hex dev team members in the proving grounds queue at random times each day we'll announce on Twitter when the dev teams enter queue so you can make sure to follow at hex TCG this event runs for 10 from 10 a.m. Pacific on Tuesday July 7th until the servers close for the armies of myth patch on the 14th probably somewhere right around there so they got frenemies and then they say go on to say here they're talking about people who are strong community organizers as far as tournaments and things like that and players have been asking for a way to provide um, them to easily to match up and queue up against some of these people so in the next patch they're going to have a, a mode or a area where you can go in and um, queue up with your person you're playing in the, the community driven tournament with so it would be the best of three constructed match um, then we got think of the children last year um, during this particular time uh, thirteen thousand dollars was raised for charity this year our community is making their charity stream even bigger the community run extra life charity stream on the hex twitch channel will be four days of interview interviews games giveaways and more be sure to check that out this is really kind of cool and it's always always for a good cause um, and then to make the event players who log into hex during the stream will will receive 4x alternate art metally 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 i don't know metally that's not how you pronounce it this doesn't sound right does it so anyway you're gonna get four of this guy child card i don't know what it is um this card will be distribu distributed after armies of myth launches of course only accounts that exist as of 10 a.m pacific time today this would have been july 3rd or receive this card and that's just to prevent people from creating accounts after they find this just to get more than four of them so don't do that all right and we got the collector's art the collector's art tier here these are so cool cards i really like them and they are so expensive though sometimes you can't even begin to imagine how some how expensive well i'm sure you can some of these alternate art cards that are from the collector's tier and they put them out there it's just like It'd be cool to have, but I'm not going to spend that kind of money on it. Anyway, so what is this alternate art card? Let's take a look. It's a basic action. Target troop gets plus one, plus one, and swift strike. Not bad for for one cost. That's a pretty, uh, pretty, pretty easy card to go with there. I kind of like that one. That is it. That is all that's in the news. I checked out the forums. There's really not a whole lot going on in the forums that's exciting anyway. Plus, I don't, I don't really like to talk about the forum. It's stuff that's in the forums all that much. You guys know that. But again, there's not much going on. Some people are talking about the uh, 2 2 1 draft going away now. So it's going to be 3 3 3. I don't know. Is Have they confirmed what the drafts are going to be? Is it going to be is it going to be 3 3 3? Or is it going to be like, you know, 3 2 1? What's it going to be? I haven't seen anything yet on what the draft's going to be. So I guess we'll find out. Let's go ahead and get rid of this window here and hop into the game. Crack a pack open. Hopefully, you guys all got entered into the drawing for the what am i trying to say the last week's panel pack so again let me know your favorite set three card this is for you to get into the a drawing i'm going to do this from now until armies of myth 
releases and anybody who tells me their set three set three their favorite set three card i'll put you guys all names in a hat i'll pick one you get a primal pack unopened sent to you so tell me your favorite set three card that you have if you've already entered you don't need to do it again simple as that let's open up a pack Shatter destiny boom anything good uh, i'm gonna guess 50 50 probably not gonna be anything good i don't know if we need to roll through the commons do we we'll do it anyway we got excavation hulk Blossoming Concubunny, Bastion of Adamant, Sly Huntress, Sterling Star Watcher, Careful Rummaging, Cavern Guard, Neophyte of Zarlock, Zorlock, Zarlocks, Dragon Guard Stalwart, Mazet Spearman, and Mechanical Entrepreneur, Man Manical, Manical, Manical Entrepreneur. Jeez. Those are the commons. Uncommons are Cock Twice. Construction plans, bot shop, and ashen watchers. Uncommons and our rare is going to be what? What is a rare? Destructive Marauder. Not good. We had this one in the primal packs. It's one I used in the VIP tournament. It's an okay 6 3 threshold ruby for a 7 3 that just destroys um, everybody's resources, including your own. So, not, not, not the greatest card in the world, but it is what it is. So, that's this week's pack and news for Hex. Let me know your top five picks for the pack that we just opened up in the comments down below. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more of these, be sure to click subscribe down below somewhere down there. And we'll have another video for you soon.